I can burn out. And Steve Collier's Dodge Power Brokers U.S. Nationals quickly came to an end. Hunter Green and Mick Steele getting ready to go next. Hunter, the number six qualifier in the left lane. Mick, the number 11 in the right lane. If you are new to NHRA drag racing or to the top alcohol ranks in Dragster, there's two combinations you can run. This is an injected nitro machine, as were the last two that went down the track. They actually start them on alcohol. Next time we get one up here, I'll show you what I mean. The two cars at the ready line are the blown alcohol varieties. These are actually nitro cars, no superchargers. I'd say otherwise they're just like a top fuel car, but that would be a lie. From a driving standpoint, however, it is very similar to a top fuel car. Centrifugal clutch, the fuel valve that you manipulate to change the engine RPM, you stage the car the same way, you launch the same way. And for the driver, it's a near wash, aside from the ET and speed. As you look at the real deal, Mick Steele in the right lane, your number 11 qualifier, the Rick Hickman tune machine down there. And Mick Steele was a Jags All-Star representative this weekend, the Kodak, Tennessee, Steel Cat owner. Hunter Green in the left lane making his debut at the big go and top alcohol drags to the first year driver. That is a Randy Meyer car for Bonco, Boxo, Summit, Lucas Oil. If you're looking at that going, wow, it looks a whole lot like a funny car we just saw. It's because his father is Chad Green standing down there watching his son in his first round in an alcohol dragster at the U.S. Nationals. Hunter is your number six qualifier and had the best average reaction time in qualifying. Here we go. Hunter Green left. Mick Steele right. Hunter Green is 0-24. Like psychic in the left lane and gets the win. 528-5, 270 miles per hour and a big old fist bump from Chad down there on the starting line. Hunter Green is 0-2-4 in an injected nitro car in his first elimination round at the U.S. Nationals. Unbelievable driving job by that young man so far this weekend. 024, Chad. Now you got something named for in the funny car. No? Yeah? Okay, 024. He's calling it. He's going to be 023 in the next qualifying round. Watch. Mick Steele was 050, went 537.6. There's nothing wrong with what Mick Steele just did. If Hunter Green goes out there, he's late, he rattles the tires, he's got a pedal, pitches the belt, puts a hole out. Mick Steele's in the race. Hunter Green instead made a flawless run down the left lane. And Randy Meyer has punched two tickets to round number two. 